Hey Scribblers, you might have noticed, but I'm not in my office. It's April 28th, which means that we are near the end of April's Camp Nano. It's a beautiful day out, so I decided to come out to my backyard and get some writing done. Now, I have to admit, I've kind of given up on winning Nano. Of my goal, there is no way I'm going to be able to reach it in time for the end of the month. I, I was doing so well the first couple weeks of April and then life happened. I had finals in my classes, then the school I teach at started going through testing so that is actually a huge time suck. So I have had almost no time for writing. And then a little thing happened. Since I am including this video as part of my writing process series, I want to be open about my writing process. Sometimes I don't always complete what I want to complete when I want to complete it. I was bitten by a bug to write this story and it will not let me go so I've decided as I am writing What the Hex I am going to start plotting this other book which for the moment I'm calling Strange Fruit after the Nina Simone song look that song up if you want a hint about what that book is about but since this book is going to be a little a lot heavier than what I usually write I've decided to concentrate once I finish plotting I'm going to concentrate on writing strange fruit while writing what the hex whenever I need something lighter in tone to cleanse my palette because I know strange fruit is going to be a heavy book that is going to cause a lot of mental and emotional anguish for me while writing it so I need something that is going to help balance that emotional distress for me maybe in another video I will tell you all more about strange fruit but today I wanted to concentrate on Camp Nano now let's see what I've managed to get done now as you can probably see I have not added anything in in a while the last day I added words was April 15th which is like almost two weeks ago I, I don't even want to know what it would look like but at that point I'd gotten 15,222 words overall about 31% complete but that was including words that I had written before camp started like my overall progress is looking kind of sad for actual campus says I kind of stalled out around day 10 I got some words in on day 15 but then that's it my target was 25,000 words as you guys know and I managed to get 10,608 words written during the month those first like 15 days which I think it's actually really good. It's a lot of numbers for me. According to this, I'll need almost 5,000 words a day to finish on time. So, like, we know that's not going to happen. But I am going to continue to keep on with this story. Get those last words in. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this year's Camp Nano. Like, I specifically made a goal that I knew I could hit. And honestly, if it wasn't for outside things like 
going out of town for almost a week and then coming back and just getting hit by like my school stuff my work stuff I really think I would have hit the word count but I am happy with what I've gotten done I think I may still manage to get my deadline of the end of May in we'll see that's about 35,000 words I would need to write between now and the end of May so maybe not We'll see how close I get to the end. I would not be surprised if I finished the draft, but came in under my 50,000 word goal because I tend to underwrite and it's middle grade. So it's actually okay if I hit in the 40,000s, that's still a decent length for a middle grade novel. But I know once I get into revisions and everything, stuff will start pumping up. And actually CP match happened on Twitter yesterday and I've connected with a few people who want to be my alpha readers so as I write they are going to read my rough first draft which is actually terrifying for me because I like never let anyone see my stuff until it's at least gone through one stage of revisions so we will see how that goes. But all in all, I, I guess camp was a success by the standards of I got words down. These are words that I did not have before. So that is always a win in my book. I will keep you all updated with how What The Hex and now Strange Fruit are going. And until next time, keep writing, scribblers.